Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are playing around with the aircraft carrier yet again, and today I figured we'd actually start work on adding some guns to this thing. Now honestly, I decided that we needed anti-aircraft guns a long time ago, and I figured we'd actually line them up across the front, uh, but when it came to actually doing that, I'm not entirely sure I want to now. Uh, we might actually add one on this side, one on this side, and actually have it like that, uh, because I do want a bridge. Uh, somewhere located in here so that we can actually drive it from down there as well as up there if we need to uh, Which I think makes sense. So today what we'll do is we'll try and design something to allow us to have some anti-aircraft guns On the front as well as designing the front of the bridge that is gonna go underneath the uh, Underneath the deck. So let's go ahead and get on with it. Shall we? Hey! Okie dokie, so we're going to go ahead and design something that allows us to actually use the full potential of the front of the aircraft carrier as well as actually designing a, uh, I want to say a bridge that goes underneath. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but let's say that this drops by, does it drop by three? How many does it drop by? Uh, one, two, three, four. It drops by four. Actually, wait, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so it does only drop by three. So we're going to go ahead and do this straight away. Uh, down three. There we go. Excellent. We're then going to have a gap of about four to allow us to actually see out of the front. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and lower that down by another four so that we can actually have a, uh, a bottom side to our uh, bridge. Yeah, that makes sense. So we actually just go ahead and do this. And that will allow us to actually have the bridge underneath here in between these pillars. And that'll be fine. Now, you might be saying, well, you don't really get that much vision if you do that. That is true. However... Um, it is not for vision that you would use this bridge. It is the last case scenario you'd use this. So that's why we built it so low, and that's why it's going to go here, which uh, makes sense to me. Anyway, that's going to be the bottom right there. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and Im uh, add these guys as little supports, and they're going to go upwards like this, and hopefully attach directly into here, which should be pretty cool, which it is. So there you go. All right, nice. So now we need to figure out how to attach the rest of these things uh, to the rest of these things, if that makes any sense. So this is going to come backwards this way. We're going to delete those guys, if we can, and we're going to put these guys in here, attach all of it together, and that is going to be it for this little bridge thing. I think that's fine. I do think that's okay. Uh, as for this little bit right here, I do think we're going to keep it. Uh, however, we are going to attach it on to the bridge, which is going to go right there, obviously. So... Attach those guys together, just like so. And we're obviously going to do this all the way down the sides. There we go. And same with this piece. Here we go. Yeah. Nice. That's going to go there. Uh, we're then obviously just going to attach all of this together uh, like that. And we're going to do it on this side too, just like so. And I think that's fine. We can then add windows after this and that'll be okay. Uh, this is going to be raised by one. Oh, I built it at the wrong height. I guess that's fine. Uh, we might actually delete this at the top anyway. Uh, and we'll have another window there. I want it to have quite big windows. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, we're then actually going to go ahead and do this. And also this. And that's fine. I don't know whether it should be, like, considered outside, if that makes sense. Uh, or not. I'm not sure whether to do that or not. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and raise this up to here. Raise that up to there. And we'll build the bridge in here at a later date. But uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we've got our bridge going in there. Let's add some windows to hopefully make it look nicer, and then we'll finish the rest of it later on, at some point. I'm not sure when, but there, there you go. So at some point, we'll build this in. Anyway, whack that right in the middle. We're going to continue it sideways, continue it sideways, and we can actually do a full-length uh, thing just like this. I don't know whether that's what I wanted, but because it fits, I guess it sits. There you go. If it fits, it sits. We're going to go ahead and build this in all the way across there. It looks way too open, and I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like that. So we might actually delete uh, this one and this one. Uh, and then we'll build, like, a solid block in here. There we go. And actually, we'll just fill that in. There we go. All right, I think that's fine. Yeah. So we'll leave that like that for now. It will probably change, but that's where the second bridge, or the secondary bridge, is going to go. Nice. Yeah, I think that works. All right, so as for the anti-aircraft guns that we're going to go at the end of this, I'm not entirely sure where they should go, to be totally honest with you guys. But let's go ahead and grab this color. We'll go ahead and angle this down from there. 
Uh, we'll have it about five wide, let's say, so about there. And we'll have them dangle off the side. So bring this down. One, two, three, four, and maybe even five. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I think we'll actually extend this one directly down into the floor. Uh, just like this. There you go. So that'll go directly into the floor like so. And then we're going to branch this out a little bit. Oh, how is this going to work? Oh, I don't know how I want it to look, but we're going to do something like this. Uh, so that it does eventually attach on. Here we go. Just like so. Yeah, excellent. That works. That attaches together. Uh, and then we're going to have the gun mounted somewhere on the front of this. Oh, this is going to be weird. This is going to be very strange to look at. But yeah, the gun is going to be mounted just there. Oh, this is very strange. This is very strange indeed. So this is going to come forwards a good few bits. There we go. We're then going to angle it around the edges. So that's going to go there. And also there. And then we're going to attach those together. And the anti-aircraft guns are going to sit directly on these pieces. How do I feel about that? I'm not actually sure how I feel about that. It's a bit weird. It is a little bit strange. But if we then delete this, we delete this, 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 and this. We add some ladders in between those. Hopefully this will look okay. Yep. Oh, that looks so weird because it's going to be off the front of the ship. But I kind of like the idea of that, weirdly. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Pipes to attach all of this together. Let's do it. And hopefully that'll look good. It might. It might not. Bam. Yeah, okay. So you have to, like, dangle yourself off the side to be able to get onto the guns. But sure, why not? Oh, that's so weird. That is very, very weird. All right, we're going to build this in across here, around the edges, and all the way to the edge there good and now we need to actually put a gun on there and i'm not sure what it should look like to be totally honest with you guys all right so we're gonna go ahead and put a pivot directly in the middle of this actually we'll put it further forwards we will put it here uh and that will go directly into there just like so excellent we're then gonna have to build in a, an actual gun on this i don't know how i want it to look i really don't know how i want it to look uh so yeah that could go there this can go here We'll raise this up by, like, a good few. There we go. We'll then put our guns on there. Auto cannons. Here we go. Just light ones. Just light auto cannons. I know we wouldn't really be using an auto cannon on this, but it's the gun that seems to fit it the most. So that's why we're using these. Uh, we're then actually going to attach those together with a T-junction or something. Here we go. Like this. Yeah, and then realistically, the... Uh, the ammunition needs to go on the top of that, but I'm not sure where to put it. So we might actually angle it sideways with one of these. Put our ammunition on the top of that. And here we go, like a drum. And that's somewhat what it's going to have to look like. Which I don't know how I feel about that, but maybe that's fine, I guess. I don't know. All right, go ahead and put these two on there like this. Oh, not, not quite like that. Like this and this. And then we'll actually have this one supported from the front. Like so. Okay. I think that works. I know it looks a little bit ugly, but I think it works. Uh, we're then actually... Oh, they need to be on a pivot going up and down also. So that's going to be a bit tricky, but there you go. Attach those onto there. We'll give it a pipe. And we'll attach it together with a pipe. There we go. So pipe right there. Pipe right there. And I think that's fine. I don't think they're quite what I want them to look like, though. I think I wanted them to be flatter and probably a lot bigger. But I guess we'll go with this for right now. I think it's fine. You know what? Actually, maybe the, the main part of this that looks wrong to me is actually the fact that the floor isn't actually as, like, flat as I would want it to be, if that makes sense. So we're actually going to attach it to the ground, sort of. Kind of like this. There we go. Then we can attach those together, and attach these together, and yeah, I think that makes it look a little bit nicer. So flip that over, whack it on there. Excellent. We're going to flip this over as well, and we're going to attach them together via one of these. Okay, I think that makes it look a little bit better, but I'm still not sure. I'm not sold. I am not sold. But anyway, we've pulled them into the sky. We're going to grab this all the way down there, all the way down to here. We're going to go across there. We're going to grab this one. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, cut it. Paste it. Excellent, that works. Go to the other side and do the same thing. Here we go. Okie dokie, cut it. Oh no, that's not quite right. Over sideways one. There we go. We cut it. And paste it. And then we need to put it on a pivot that will allow this to actually work. So here we go. We're going to put this pivot right in here. Just like 
this, I think. There we go. Uh, we're going to attach this onto there also. Actually, I don't know what to do with this side. We're going to just probably attach it onto there, but do this with it. There we go. That's fine. And then that's fine. We merge that with that. Excellent. We merge this with this. And now we should be able to aim the guns up and down and sideways. Maybe. Also, we need handles on each gun. Here we go. Oh, it's lagged out. It's lagged out. So we can actually shoot them. So we're going to put this right here. Oh, is that actually in the way? All right, delete this, this, and this. And we might be able to put it in. Just like that. There we go. So we got our gun on board. And now we should be able to shoot our guns. And that should be fine. I think. I don't. I really don't know. I think so, though. I kind of feel like we should actually add multiples of these. So, like, we should go across a bunch. Uh, let's say another five right there, and then another five right there. Uh, we'll actually build it on to probably this point. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Uh, and I think we'll actually add it to there as well. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Then from here, we obviously go to the ground with both of them. So there. And also there. Excellent. And then we can attach these all together like so. That looks a bit weird, but I think we'll go with it. And then we actually want to grab a whole one of these all the way down to there, all the way down to here, and all the way up to there. There we go. Right. So copy this just a little bit. All right. Nice. Move it over to here. And we can have another one. Okay, press U. Take it to the other side as well. Here we go. Paste it there. Excellent. And then we've got, like, multiple anti-aircraft guns on the front of our aircraft carrier. Which makes sense. I think. Also, is this wrong? One, two, three. Oh, that just looks wrong, but it's not. That's correct. Okay, excellent. So, we're merged, right? This needs to be merged with this. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. What? How have I managed to merge this wrong? No, this is right. This is totally right. Okay, excellent. So those all turn. That's fine. Uh, they all lift up and down as well. That's fantastic. And I think we're actually going to attach both of these together. So bring that from there all the way to here. Paint the front, paint the back, and we should be good. All right, here we go. Grab this color. Boop. There we go. And yeah, I think that's fine. I know it's a bit weird, but I think it's fine. Kind of interesting, though. All right, so now it's our job to actually go see if they work. So we need to attach all of the things together to allow them to work, and then we'll do it, I guess. All right, the other thing that I think is actually putting me off is the fact that they're not actually really dark colors, because uh, I feel like they should actually be very dark uh, in terms of the color that they are. So we're going to go ahead and actually paint all of this in this color instead, uh, which makes them very much dark, and I think that'll allow me to visualize it correctly maybe i i do think that it doesn't look quite right but i think we're we're on the right track here there we go so paint this in as well paint that in there we go all right yeah the fact that they're darker seems to make more sense uh however the problem still is that um everything's like it, it's not as wide as i would want an anti-aircraft gun to be if that makes any sense hopefully that makes sense to you guys because i'm trying to make some sense but, yeah. Anyway, going to go ahead and paint all of these, uh, all the same colors. Hopefully, I get them all correct. And I actually do manage to paint all of it because it's quite tricky. Some some spaces are quite hard to, to paint or I'll just forget. But, yeah. So, paint that right there. Paint it right here. Paint this, this, and this. And I think we're all painted. So, now we spawn it in. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. We actually need these to have ammo in. So, light auto cannon. We're going to go with high explosive. Actually, it should be fragmentation. There we go. Fragmentation. Do this one. Fragmentation. Do this one. Fragmentation. Save it. Let's go. So we're going to save it as... There we go. All right, saved. Nice. Yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and spawn this in. And hopefully we can use the guns. I'm assuming we will be able to. Maybe. Okay, so this is now what it looks like from the front. Uh, obviously, we've got our guns uh, lined up across the front. I'm not sure I want to keep them just like that, but we will for now. That seems fine. Uh, then if we want to... Oh, I need to paint more bits. Like, this one needs bits more painted. Uh, that one needs painting a little bit. But yeah, we can, we can paint them off a little bit more. But yeah, now we've got guns here, we can actually shoot down aircraft that are in front of us. 
Like this. But we need the blinker to work. So we need it to blink between this gun and that gun. And then it'll be fine. Also, that needs painting. Yeah, I knew I was going to miss pieces uh, when I said I was going to paint things. Also, side note, this is going to be where the bridge goes. The underneath bridge. We can see quite a lot, even with the guns there. So that's pretty good. We'll be able to see out the sides as well. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's cool. All right, so I think the other thing that will make this bit look a little bit nicer is actually adding a bit of a wall to the front of it uh, to to make it look nicer. Yeah, I think this will look better. So if we do that, we then obviously want to come around this corner, which is a little bit annoying because we don't have a piece for that, but that's okay. We're then going to send this backwards, uh, just like so. That's fine. And we're going to go ahead and do this to there. Hopefully, it'll still be able to turn properly. We will delete these and we'll instead attach these guys. Because then I think it'll still be able to turn, which makes sense. Uh, then we'll actually do the same with these ones as well if we can. So delete this, delete this. Put that on there and that on there. Excellent. And then we need to do these pieces on the edges as well. There we go. And there we go. And also, there we go. All right, nice. Yeah, I think that makes it look a little bit nicer, which is, of course... Uh, better for me. So there you go. Good. I like it. Very nice. The other thing that I wanted to do was actually delete this bit in the middle. Uh, add a full-on window right in the center of this so that we can see what's going on outside, please. There we go. Excellent. We're actually going to go ahead and add some big old windows on the sides of this uh, so that we know exactly what's going on out to the edges of our aircraft carrier. Yes. Okay. Build this all the way up to there. Build this all the way up to there. And... I think we'll actually just do this. Same with this piece. We'll, we'll finish that off like that. And we'll do that. There we go. I know they're at different heights, but that's okay. We're then going to fill in these guys. We'll probably actually add a window to there. And I think that'll be good. And then a window to there. And I also think that'll be good too. So let's grab these. Go with this one. Put it in there like so. Good. And on this side, just the same. And there we go. Yeah. I mean, it looks a bit weird, the fact that they're all over the place, but I think that's fine. Yeah. Oh, it looks weird, though, doesn't it? I might raise this one up and just have it up there, even if it's too high. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll have it too high. There we go. And we can just build up on the side uh, and make that look better. But anyway, fill this in right here. Fill that in there. And I think I'm okay with that. Kind of cool. Nice. Oh, and of course, we also actually need a way to actually get inside of that. So we might add some stairs to it, like, now, I guess. Or now-ish. So let's go ahead and build this in. The stairs are going to be, like, three wide. So we're going to give it a space of about five. We're going to drag that up to the roof for now. That's okay. Let's go with a little bit of a room for stairs. That's good. Uh, da -da -da, for a landing, I should say. And then we're going to put these guys right on here, just like this. And then we're going to build it down. And hopefully that'll look okay. Which I think it will. So there you go. So that's going to go there. We're going to do this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and then a few more. This, this, and this. Hey, there we go. So we've built some stairs down to the floor. That's okay. I think the landing is okay to build bigger. And we'll also allow ourselves to actually walk around out here too. I think that's okay. So there we go. Excellent. Delete that. We're going to have to put in some uh, railings now. And then once we've built the railings in, uh, we should be good, I think. So let's build these in real quick. Of course, they're just going to be like... I think we'll make them this color, actually. So that's going to go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hang on. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Very good. And then these ones have to be built in on this side. Exactly the same way, pretty much. All the way down. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, nice. Good. I think that's fine. We'll then obviously build these in, as we should. All the way up to there. And same with this one. If we can, turn it around, bring it up. And there we go. And delete this. Put this piece in here. Actually, delete that too. There we go. We'll have them merged together like that. That's fine. These guys are in. And I think I'm happy with that, to be honest. I think I'm happy. That's good. So now we can actually add a railing like this one. We'll make it this color. Does that line up with that? It does. We'll do that. And we'll also do this into a wall. There we go. Delete that. Put a wall in. That's fine. Yeah, that is actually A-OK. -okay. Now we'll just get another railing like this one. Make it this color. Whack it in there. Straight across. Voila. Nice. Now we need doors. Yeah. I did say I wasn't really going to do too much with this room today. But you know what? Turns out we're doing quite a lot. So there you go. A door. Obviously needs to go on there like this. 
Top of the stairs, that's fine. We've got it on both sides. Build all this in all the way up to the roof. That's okay. And I guess we'll just put some windows like those ones straight in here as well. There we go. Turn it around, whack it there, whack it there. And I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm very happy with that. I think that looks cool. Nice. Okay, so... I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching whatever the heck this was. Um, I want to do the elevators probably in the next video. Because I want to get quite a lot done as soon as I can. So we'll probably end up building the elevators uh, and that'll be cool. Also, I think I might paint this deck color a little bit different as well. Maybe even green. In fact, can I do that now? Let's replace this color with like a, a green. Yeah, I mean, I know that looks a little bit weird, but I kind of like the idea of it. So we're going to leave that like that for now. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.